Hi, welcome. I have a question on the form. And in this case, I find there's a useful tutorial behind it. So there is Arch Linux D, and in Arch Linux D, you choose your own desktop with scripts, and it's about the budgie desktop. The question is more or less, is anything different than in the past? 500, the script 500 is perhaps corrupted. I'm missing several things. I have nothing from AUR. Um, icons are missing. So you can do this exercise as follows. You can go to Arch Linux D, to the GitHub. Any information, all information is on here. Go to Budgie. And it's, it's, it's very interesting to know. That's why I make a tutorial of it. This is the status of my GitHub today, right? So four days ago, I've created a new version for the Archway scripts. You can check it out in the going in the past. So all these commits, 27 October, 23 October, every little line here is the change of the system, change of something. And what you have to do is just open something here and then you see what the difference is. So in this case, I've added the line, but the line will not be used. Why? Because it has a hashtag in front of it. That's the only change I've made to the files at that point in time. So if you want to know what happened to this desktop, this, sorry, this, um, well, yeah, Budgie is desktop, but to this GitHub, you can do the following, just an idea. You download the situation now, download the zip. Okay, that's downloaded, it's there. Then you can go back in time. Yes, you can go back in time with this machine. You can go some time ago. So for instance, these commits, let's say you downloaded something in beginning of, um, where are we here in the time? 5 September, 7, 5, so 29 days ago. Let's say commits on September the 5th. You say at that point in time, I installed it, it was still okay. You check it out, you can go to this file and then you see the differences. I've changed some text. Doesn't really going. That's not really going to change anything. This is a copy. Copy something to etc. Scale to your home. This looks important. Now you can go and browse the files at that point in time. What was the complete GitHub at 5 September? I think it was right. 5 September. Can we see it somewhere? Two months ago. Six months ago. And at this point in time, you can say, let's have a look at this version at that point in time and download that again as well. So another download. Now I keep telling you the power of melt. So that one can go. So this is the situation today. Extract here. This is the situation the 5th of September. Extract here. Select these two, right mouse click, compare, and all the changes that we've made can be analyzed and say, am I missing something? It was working then, why is it not working now? And we've made some new files, so trust key has been renumbered to 20 trust key. And we added some things here, so the archway is something new. That's for people who are on Arch Linux, so they get a uh, proper script, better script, because of key servers not being there and then you're blocked and you can't get the keys in. So that's just to be safe. In my case, I need this. And then trust key and 30 key. So Arch Linux key is imported on Arch Linux. And the only thing between September and now is this line, this, this file. Yesterday I made a new package, so I've included sudo pacman minus s arclinux logo but it's not installed hashtag there is also a new change with the mirror list remember that we want to make sure that you have enough servers so we don't get these timeouts when you build an iso arclinuxb.com mirror list so that's installed we need that otherwise we get errors and since we're on budgie we don't want to have uh, ob menu generator we want to have it but not installed so an hashtag in front of it so there's also a new package coming from the creation of Arch Linux B open box minimal and this is the change between 
XF panel. So we have created a new package called our Linux XFC panel profile. So, but it's not used since it's XFC. This is budgy. So, an InSync, yeah, InSync is something special. Well, it's nothing special. I mean, InSync used to go on third party, but there's a limit on GitHub. You can only put things on there less than 100 megabytes. And just like that, it jumped from 55 megabytes to 110 or 115 or something. So we can't put it in again anymore on our repo. We need to actually build it with Yay now. So that's it. That's the only difference between then and now. So that's the analysis to help out yourself and analyze, analyze what happened, what changed from the future, from the past and the future, compare these two, and then you can figure out what maybe uh, you're missing or what's going wrong or, or analyze anyway uh, what changed. All right, enjoy GitHub. <laughs>